Looks like they're lifting something off. I tried to contact Francis D.K. Ching and his publishing company to get their permissions and stuff. They haven't gotten back to me. I sent them an email and called and left a message. What's up with that, Francis? Um, yeah. So we'll see. He's probably teaching some courses out in California. He teaches architecture, so... I imagine his publishing company would have gotten back to me though. They haven't. Let's see how that goes. I thought they were lifting something off. And they certainly did lift it. And they're lifting it now. Something was connected to it, so let's see if they're lifting anything off. Um, yep. Well, it's certainly in the HVA system that it that was there before, but yep, they are lifting some thing off, some type of metal structure. And this is the back side of Harris Teeter. Around the corner is the front entrance. So yep, that's what they have done. Lifted it from the lower roof to the upper one. Quote, unquote, upper roof. Upper flat roof. With a, a, we're gonna guess is an elastomeric uh, frame or less. Harris Teeter, so yeah, that's what they have done. Alright guys, well, unfortunately I wasn't able to get the them lifting the big structure that they lifted before onto the roof, but uh, hopefully um, goddamn, you guys will be grateful that I was able to get, for you guys who haven't seen um, this type of thing, which most of you probably have in your own city or wherever you are, part of the world, you've had the opportunity whether you're into construction or not to do so, but um, you have had the opportunity or maybe have seen something like this. Okay, you know what? So now they're lifting something else off. Okay, that's different. Hey Mercedes. Um, 
there was a girl when I was in school at Brittany. I mentioned I went to five universities and that um, um, and a, a beauty school. But there was a girl in beauty school with me. Her name was Mercedes. So there's a different type of structure. It looks like they're lifting some vents off. Some type of ventilation system for this huge HVAC. HVAC. The first one I'm guessing was one form and one size, uh, one dimension of vent ventilation. And this one is maybe another one. Now, I don't know for sure, but I'm going with that guess. Now, probably could verify here but if you guys are really interested you could google it yourself I'm sure there are some great construction companies and professionals out there that could give me the exact answer but um I'm thinking it was a register, a device for controlling the flow of warmer conditioned air from an outlet composed of a grill with a number of parallel blades that may be adjusted so as to overlap and close the opening. I'm thinking that's what we're looking at here, a commercial version of the event. And you can see it's grilled. The grating of perforated springs for covering, concealing, or protecting a wall floor or ceiling opening that looks like the vents right there some of them are open some of them are closed the only other thing that will be on the roof is uh, water pipes which um, yeah which uh, they're listening at they're working on the HVAC now. And that larger unit they put on before. I'm good. Um, but as far as piping, they would, they could put a hot water heater on the roof. As well as you guys know, you homeowners know that sometimes they're in the basement. Uh, and or the roof and sometimes they're on the roof or in the attic I suppose could be an option so I was watching a YouTube video that was talking about that in these past couple months and um, so yeah in these commercial commercial units I, I think they have heating uh, water apparatuses that go again from the basement to the roof. The basement and the roof, rather. Okay, let's see. So for example, I was mentioning how I experienced some of these pipe fittings recently, the elbow drop elbow pipe fitting for residential and a residential frame through the beams and, and um, studs there before the sheathing was put, put on, but I experienced some of those twists and turns and piping and each of those is, is uh, called something such as elbow pipe fitting, drop elbow sweep fitting, the return bend, the T drop, T sanitary, T Y, or the cross um, pipe, pipes. So I experienced that in, in a residential frame here. They are putting, uh, again, I'm using the word apparatuses together on the roof, therefore, for 
in the commercial version and right now they're working on something for the heating and HVAC HVAC but um, there is probably measures as well on the roof for for water pipes and stuff oh gosh Again, check me out uh, if you need small time work. Uh, I'm looking to get in the high end residential, but if you need a wall or a floor done or a roof, uh, some work on your foundation, give the general contractor a call, Devon here at Devon Chatter White Incorporated. You can contact me via my website, www.dcwdcw.com. They lifted the Charlotte sign off, as you can see. Um, check out clip one from this this particular uh, series, and you see the Charlotte sign was there, where uh, in front of that purple gypsum board, and we saw them welding, welding and hammering it off between those two posts. But. Uh, Speaking of posts, this, there's a column with this capital at the top. Well, actually, the cornice at the top and the frieze, and the architrave, ar architrave, or the architrave, and there's the capital. But those are posts because of, I believe, because of their dimensions. It's the dimensions of a post, I believe, is thicker than a cap than a, a column. Although I guess you could, um, you could size a post down to, to make it a column. Lessons from Devon White. Uh, we're based on these, this knowledge from the book of uh, Visual Dictionary of Architecture by Francis D.K. Ching. And, uh, um, as well as other studies um, I've done in, architect, in architecture and building. Check me out at www.dcwdcw.com. Uh, there we have it. There's a unit coming off. Again, uh, to give you guys a, a, an idea of what the first unit that went up on that I missed, um, it looked like a trailer, like actually a trailer or a work trailer or an office, an office for a, a the size, it was the size of an office. It was aluminum, the color of the, the piece that they're bringing off now. It was a lot larger and it looked like a trailer, a small trailer home or uh, 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 excuse me, a construction office for a construction project like this. So, um, once they lifted it off, I realized that it's, it's likely an HVAC unit. It could actually be an office that they were lifting up there for extensive work that they're doing on the roof, but likely again, it, it might be just connected to that huge, uh, huge air system that they have flowing through the Harris Teeter there. So, yeah. Um, 
I see a fan at the bottom of this this thing that's coming off of the lower roof there. Can you guys see it? So that's definitely connected to the air air unit there. There's a unit heater. It's a heater, quartz heater. <laughs> and then they're lifting it to the lower to the upper roof. Uh, what? Yes. The rhythm of life, the rhythm of our lives, the rhythm of our generation. <laughs> yeah. So, what's your song? What's the rhythm of your life? What's the song of your generation? The heartbeat of your life. I'm the heartbeat of my own. I'm, a, I'm my own original version of, um, of my own life. Mixed with, of course, that involves a lot of other artists and, you know, um, mixtures in, in there as well to create my own original derivation or, or derivative um, and the more original version as we all are, these creatures of God. Sometimes fast, sometimes slow. Get money though, just being honest with you. Yes, we all need to live and survive in this world. Now she works at Legends at the front door. That's the gay club here. And getting on the 16, going to Crabtree. You guys have seen me on the 16 line before. Out there going to Crabtree. He works there at Crabtree. I think at um, at the uh, I wanted to say not Halil, not Halil um, food. Halal food, halal food um, bar. But one of those restaurants there in the food court there at Crafty Mall. What up, 16? Speaking of the size of the house that I'm wanting to build, 16,000 square foot for myself or the one that I want to buy it needs to be at least 16,000 square feet. Because I want it, because I asked for it, because that's why. I did it first before anybody else, maybe. Asking the world for it, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah. That's what I want. That's what I want for myself. Sixteen thousand square feet. That's pretty big. It's not the biggest. It's not as big as Aaron Spelling's fifty-three thousand square foot home. Man, I don't want to walk in the front door and feel like I'm having to walk. A, like an entire like like long track or like the length of this entire street to get from my front door to my kitchen but and that would be clown town but I do want something very large I don't mind feeling like I'm in the gym in a, in a gym or a smaller gym for my lifetime for a place to call home for myself 
can check some some of that some details related to that out on my website as well. What is that? Membrane and or step of trust and mix with an arch. It could be considered an 